10 Famous Unsolved Art Heists The Memling robbery is an example of how profoundly a theft may alter an artwork's history for all time, yet it is far from the first work in history to have undergone such a change. Even if technology has advanced and methods of committing heists have changed, frequent thefts of the finest works of art in the world continue to occur, thereby adding strange new chapters to the annals of art history. Check out the top 10 heists ever in the following video. Number 10. In 2020, COVID closes a Dutch museum where a Van Gogh was on display. The majority of the world's top museums in Europe and North America shut their doors to visitors in March 2020 as COVID-19 lockdowns spread across the globe. A burglary occurred at the Singer Laren Museum in the Netherlands amid the unsettling silence, and robbers made off with a rare early Vincent Van Gogh painting. This piece, the Parsonage Garden at Noonan in Spring, 1884, was on loan from the Groninger Museum in another Dutch institution when it was stolen by a thief who entered the building with a sledgehammer and managed to get past many layers of protection. The fact that the surprise robbery occurred amid a pandemic seemed to indicate that the burglars were taking advantage of the worrying situation. The Van Gogh picture has not been located as of 2021. Number 9. Inconspicuous Old Masters Paintings Are Stolen in London Jacob de Gain III, a painting by Rembrandt from 1632, was once referred to as the takeaway Rembrandt by the Guinness Book of World Records because it had been stolen so frequently. However, the Jacob de Gain was stolen from the Dulwich Picture Gallery in London in 1966 along with pieces by Peter Paul Rubens, Gerard Doe, Adam L. Shamer, and two other Rembrandts before it was taken in 1973, 1981, and 1983. The burglars, one of whom was ultimately found guilty, intended to sell the painting on the black market, but police quickly found it, and it is still on display at the museum today. Number 8. The greatest art theft in Canadian history involves 18 paintings. The scene was one from a Hollywood thriller. Three guards were bound and gagged by robbers who broke into the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts, one of Canada's most significant institutions, around 2 a.m. through a skylight. Soon after, they stole 18 paintings, including works by Delacroix, Rubens, and Rembrandt, and 39 pieces of jewelry. The fact that the museum was fixing the skylight suggested that burglars had been researching the MMFA and looking for a way in to commit the theft. The Rembrandt alone was worth $1 million of the $2 million worth of items they stole, none of which have been recovered. The Rembrandt painting was believed to be worth 20 times as much by the Globe and Mail in 2003, and it was suggested that the Montreal Mafia may have been involved. Number 7. A valuable Klimt vanishes from an Italian exhibition. The $60 million painting by Austrian artist Gustav Klimt, Portrait of a Lady, 1916, 17, is regarded as important by academics since it is the only one of his works that have been known to have been painted over while the artist was still working on it. However, historians couldn't see the picture for more than two decades because it had essentially vanished. The painting vanished in 1997 while being prepared for a show at the Galleria d'Arte Moderna in Piacenza, Italy and its whereabouts were unknown until it reappeared in December 2019. The piece was half, hidden in a trash bag behind a panel in the building the previous year, much to the astonishment of the gallery's gardener who was trimming ivy at the time. For years after the Klimt was taken, two individuals who were thought to be related to other Italian art thefts admitted to taking it in a letter to an Italian journalist. They said that they had hidden the Klimt in the gallery's facade. The men, who are still at large, claimed in the letter that they eventually gave the artwork back as a gift to the city. Number 6. In Iran, Down Restroom, Missing Artworks from a Manchester Museum Resurfaced in 2003 The famous heist at Manchester, England's Whitworth Art Gallery is known not for the artifacts taken, which were rather insignificant, nor for the drama surrounding them, the saga lasted only a few days, but for the theft's peculiar and watery conclusion. Paul Gauguin, Pablo Picasso, and Vincent van Gogh's paintings were stolen from the museum in 2003 by burglars who broke in. They were then placed inside a cardboard tube and hidden in a disused bathroom some 650 feet away from the Whitworth. The British media eventually referred to that restroom as the Louvre. The burglars had scribbled a statement on the tube, which museum officials discovered after they recovered it, saying, 
we didn't intend to steal these paintings, just to highlight the woeful security. The museum refuted claims that it lacked enough security. The artwork, which had a market value of £4 million in 2003, had little damage and was soon put back on display. The perpetrators of the theft are still unidentified. Number 5. In Italy, valuable Renaissance artworks are stolen, 1975. The Ducal Palace in Urbino was regarded as one of Italy's most secure art spaces, even if it did not have an electronic system at the time, until it was plundered in 1975. In that year, thieves stole three Renaissance pieces by Raphael and Piero della Francesca with the likely intention of selling them on the world market. One individual was detained shortly after on suspicion of taking part in the crime. Police predicted that they wouldn't be able to effectively resell the pieces due to their high value and notoriety, and sure enough, the works were discovered in Locarno, Switzerland, the following year. Number 4. In 2012, Romanian criminals claimed they had destroyed artifacts taken from a Dutch museum. It is uncommon for art that has been stolen to be destroyed. Instead, many stolen works end up being either discovered after years of searching or are presumed to have been lost. However, such might have been the case when burglars stole masterpieces by Pablo Picasso, Henri Matisse, Claude Monet, Paul Gauguin, and Lucien Freud from the Kunsthalle Museum in Rotterdam in 2012, leaving the building in just three minutes. Expert opinions on the painting's value varied, with estimations ranging from $26 million to $100 million. Number 3. In Stockholm, a sophisticated heist launches a global manhunt, 2000. At the Moderna Musik in Stockholm in 1993, three men conducted the largest art theft in Sweden by stealing works by Pablo Picasso and George Brack. They were eventually found, and three guys were accused of stealing them. Seven years later, a much larger theft occurred at the National Museum in Stockholm, where masked assailants with submachine guns used a sophisticated series of decoys to enter the building, steal three masterpieces by Rembrandt and Pierre, Auguste Renoir, and then make off unharmed. Police worried that the artworks, which were worth $30 million in 2000, would be leaving Eastern Europe quickly, so they quickly began a cinematic campaign to prevent any sales. Number 2. A massive Henry Moore sculpture that was taken in England in 2005 may have been gone forever. Tons of bronze were frequently sculpted into amorphous forms with human-like characteristics for Henry Moore's gigantic works. Due to the increased demand in China, a booming market for scrap metal made one sculpture, titled Reclining Figure, a major target for thieves. The two-ton, $18 million outdoor sculpture, which was on display at the Artists' Foundation in Hertfordshire, England, was stolen in 2005. Investigators were perplexed for years as to why the sculpture was stolen and where it might have ended up considering the artwork's size and weight. Number 1. In 2019, thieves stole $1.2 billion worth of jewelry from a renowned Dresden museum. One of the biggest art robberies ever, the Dresden Jewels robbery was essentially completed in one minute. By smashing an axe into a glass display case, criminals were able to escape with treasures valued at $1.2 billion from the Grun's Jolb, Green Vault, Museum at 4 a.m. Some of the most famous jewelry items in the world, including the 49.84, carat Dresden White Diamond and a sword covered in 800 diamonds, are among the artifacts that have been taken. Four people were detained for the crime at the end of 2020, but German police were still searching for the gems by the beginning of 2021, which were still missing. One security company put forth the hypothesis that thieves were attempting to sell the gems on the dark web in January of that year. If you like this video, follow us and you will find many videos that will help you to transform your life. Thanks for watching all the video, please subscribe and hit the bell. See you soon.